there's very doctor shortage going on in the world. Uh, even in the United States, uh, it, takes, it can take over a month or two to get an appointment with a doctor in some major metropolitan areas. And when the doctor appointment is actually made, there's still a huge hassle involved in actually you know, traveling to the facility, um, waiting in the waiting room to see a doctor. And then when you actually finally see a doctor, it's, you're, you're probably going to have about a five minute appointment and that's it. And you spent about two hours commuting to the facility. Uh, so we wanted to change all that. All of these factors can lead to a mentality of avoidance, and that's when people begin to ignore their sometimes serious conditions just to avoid the hassle of seeing the doctor. DocPal remedies these issues by creating a personal relationship with one's doctor via modern in-home technology. We meet Dana Craig, a busy mother of two who contacts DocPal concerning some medical issues. With DocPal, Dana can get a pre-screening using an automated avatar that asks her to take vital signs, perform exercises, and describe her symptoms. Hello and welcome to DocPal. If you are calling for a medical emergency, or if you experience one, say call 911. Please state your name and then repeat the phrase, an apple a day. Dana Craig, an apple a day. Dana, your previous address and billing information are highlighted. If the information has changed, please say, my information has changed, and I will connect you with our staff. First, I need to take your blood pressure. I sense your blood pressure cuff is ready. Please work as demonstrated on screen and press the power button as shown. Dana will now use her home blood pressure monitor, which wirelessly transmits data to the DocPal system for analysis. Your blood pressure is 125 over 80. I will now ask you to perform two range of motion tests using your right arm. With your arm, make the same movement as the on-screen animation. Stop if you feel pain or disabling discomfort. Return your arm to its resting position. Your observed range of motion has improved by 14 degrees since your last appointment. DocPal has so many interesting components, um, augmented reality, video, voice recognition, um, the, the documentation and packaging all this into a way that feels very natural to work with the patient. Dana, do you have any other health issues? If so, say I have a new health issue. I have a new health issue. Please point to the new ailment area. What's wrong with your shoulder? I have a pretty bad rash. Please describe your rash by repeating the following word that best applies. Mild, moderate, or severe. Severe, it's pretty bad. Have you started taking any medications, or do you have known allergies? No new medications, but I'm allergic to penicillin and sulfa drugs. You will soon be transferred to a specialist. Your wait time may last about a minute. Okay, thank you. No transferring. I see the real innovation of Dark Pile as being a system that allows people who otherwise cannot make it to vital, life-saving health care to easily access it. And for um, providing people, and often a crisis point in their life, with the means of getting care. You're at home with a newborn baby, you don't want to take that baby to this waiting room full of incredibly sick kids, and Dark Pile lets you get care that you know you need. The avatar with the motion and showing what the patient is supposed to do, uh, which is very easy to follow for patient visually. Uh, a lot of us are visual and uh, by seeing it, it's a lot easier than just following directions you may read on a piece of paper. After the avatar collects all the relevant information about the patient, it transfers the patient to a waiting physician or nurse ready to assist with the ailments. DocPal considers many factors in order to identify who the best caregiver for the patient could be. Uh, at any one point in time. Uh, it considers the person's medical history, um, geographic location, current symptoms, and tries to find the best professional. It's a doctor, maybe it's a nurse, uh, maybe it's a specialist um, that needs to see the patient at that specific point in time. And it looks uh, at doctors and caregivers uh, all over the, the network 
of the specific insurance company that they subscribe to in order to find the most available, uh, best possible caregiver. Dana has now been transferred to her physician to discuss her recent medical problem. Hello, Dana. Uh, so you've got a severe rash on your shoulder. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's uh, starting to bleed and it's cracking. Uh, any trouble uh, breathing, swallowing, um, any drooling? No, none of that. Okay, when did you first notice it? About two days ago. The doctor will continue to walk the patient through a series of questions designed to determine the seriousness of the rash and to determine the best treatment based on her medical history and her current condition. Okay, what should I buy? Go get some Benadryl. Uh, if your symptoms don't improve, come back and uh, I'll prescribe something stronger like steroids. I'm, I'm fairly sure you have contact dermatitis. Uh, it's very common and it will pass. Okay, thanks doctor. When the patient and doctor finish the call, the doctor can store the notes and the recording of the conversation in the patient's medical record. Helping those patients, those chronically ill patients, get healthier, DocPal can be part of those kind of tools initially, I think. Those, that's the first place where I see these coming up, and I, I, I see small trials of these going on right now. I, I believe that um, these kind of technologies, like DocPal, will branch out after initial use by these disease management groups mm -hmm. into uh, more wider use as physicians see it as a more convenient and a higher quality way of communicating with their patients.